Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us touch our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have raised us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and is with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one mind and one heart, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. The word Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord, the Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, Lord. The Lord, the Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. to 
do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus often speaks about spiritual realities with reference to various aspects of human experience. We find something similar happening in today's Gospel. He speaks about the mysterious reality of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, with reference to the every reality of the wind. There is a mysterious quality to the wind. As Jesus says, it blows where it pleases. In other words, the wind does not blow in accordance with our wishes. We cannot control where it comes from or where it goes to. If the wind is beyond our control and understanding, this is true to an even greater extent of the Holy Spirit. If we are not masters of the wind, we are even less masters of the Holy Spirit. Yet, whereas the wind is impersonal force, the Spirit is a personal force. We speak of the Spirit as the third person of the Trinity. The Spirit is the Spirit of God's personal love for the world. For as the wind can be destructive, the Spirit is always life-giving. The risen Lord continues to pour out His Spirit into our hearts, so that our lives may be spiritful. Paul portrays such a spirit-filled life when he says in this letter to the Galatians that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As well, Paul suggests that a spirit-filled life is also a prayerful life. He says, we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that the very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. It is the Spirit in us who does the prayer. Our calling is to surrender to the movement of the Spirit in our lives, to allow the Spirit to shape and mold us. What, when that happens, our lives will give expression to God's personal love for the world. It is the attractiveness of God, whose love is beyond human comprehension. As sisters and brothers in Christ, we gather our prayers and petitions and offer them to Heavenly Father. For the Church and all believers, may the Holy Spirit always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil and religious leaders, May God speak wisdom into their hearts as Jesus did for Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those who are trapped in the physical or spiritual bondage. May life in the spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, especially for coronavirus, who are sick in our parish community, especially Tom Mooney, may God give them health, body and soul. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community prayer and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially for Jordi Meyer and Ray Brown, may God let them into the glory of His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Father of all goodness, we ask that you listen to our prayers and answer them according to your word. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, that of our creation, for through our goodness we have received the bread we offer you from of the earth and Lord of human hands. We have become as the bread of life. Let us be kind forever. Blessed are you. Lord, in our creation, for through our goodness we have received the one we offer you from a divine and word of human hands. You have become our spiritual being. Blessed be God forever. For my brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in this Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at the world within us may be the cause of our unending joy through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our eternal salvation at all times to acclaim you O lord but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, than Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down in a renewal, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the heart of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the poor, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entreated to bring into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended, he took up chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this, this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, O Lord, the bread of life and of chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all who serve your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let the service come and inform my divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, to gain our sins. And on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to be the right forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. We are the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring you help in this present life and ensure for us eternal blessings. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our petitioner, Count Muni, needs our prayer. So we pray. We remember about him and pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.